Is Titan hiding extraterrestrial life? Titan, the 10th largest object in the solar system, is a world of mind-boggling extremes, where methane rainstorms drench the landscape and seas of liquid hydrocarbon stretch as far as the eye can see. This giant satellite of the gas giant Saturn has captivated the human imagination for centuries, but its dense atmosphere has long concealed it from up-close exploration. In a surprising twist, recent robotic missions have finally allowed scientists to peer through the veil and uncover detailed imagery of Titan's otherworldly surface. Most notably, the Cassini-Huygens mission has provided an unprecedented glimpse into this distant world. The results have been absolutely stunning, portraying a landscape that appears both alien and yet terrifyingly similar to our own Earth in certain ways. And now, peering through the haze, scientists are discovering several life-sustaining materials, pointing to the existence of other life forms on this frozen hydrocarbon landscape. What exactly was discovered on this bizarre moon, and are we on the verge of discovering aliens? Join us as we explore the shocking discoveries on Titan that make it a prime candidate for harboring extraterrestrial life forms. It's incredible how diverse and fascinating our solar system is. This intricate celestial arrangement formed some 4.6 billion years ago from a vast cloud of gas and dust is orbited by an array of planets, dwarf planets, moons, asteroids, and other interesting bodies. Titan, Saturn's largest moon, is one of the most captivating members of this remarkable cosmic family. Why is Titan so fascinating when compared to the other known moons in our solar system? First and foremost, the atmospheric conditions on Titan violate earthly expectations. We're talking about a moon shrouded in a deep layer of nitrogen with large residues of methane and other hydrocarbons. When viewed from space, we see a haze that produces an odd orange hue, as if the planet is in permanent twilight. The atmosphere imposes significantly greater surface pressure than Earth's. Imagine being roughly 15 feet underwater on Earth, with 22 pounds per square inch of dense atmospheric gases crashing down on you. Such conditions are actually reminiscent of our planet in its early stages of development and by obscuring Titan's surface from direct observation, they have stymied scientific research on it for centuries. But the uniqueness of the orange-shrouded moon extends beyond its atmospheric peculiarities. You see, beneath Titan's atmospheric veil is a landscape unlike any we have ever observed in our solar system. Its surface, which is mostly made up of water ice mixed with hydrocarbon sands, sculpts a landscape that mirrors Earth's geological diversity in stunning ways. Towering dunes of organic molecules stretch across vast plains, resembling deserts, except they are fashioned from substances alien to terrestrial soils. In contrast, icy mountains rise imposingly, topped not with snow as we are accustomed to on Earth, but with frozen methane and ethane. But wait, there's even more. One of the most astonishing and tantalizing revelations to have emerged from the exploration missions to Titan is that the vast lakes and seas dotting its surface are filled not with water, but with liquid methane and ethane. Take a second to imagine these endless soups of hydrocarbons, which only exist in liquid form because of the extremely cold temperatures on Titan, which hover around minus 180 degrees Celsius. These hydrocarbon reservoirs, which are quite similar to Earth's water bodies in size and scope, indicate a hydrological cycle driven not by water but by methane. Intuitively, you can tell that if alien life forms are to thrive anywhere in our solar system, it has to be there, on those frigid hydrocarbon-rich seas that harbor a biochemical complexity wholly and utterly different from our home planet. As you will come to learn in this video, there are several compelling reasons to at least suspect that this may be the case. But before we get into all that, please be sure to subscribe to the Insane Curiosity channel if you haven't already. This helps support the channel and ensures you don't miss out on future high-quality content. Now, let's take a deep dive into the signs of potential alien life on Titan. What signs of potential extraterrestrial life have scientists discovered on Titan? We cannot simply stumble upon these otherworldly beings with the naked eye. 
No, we must meticulously scour the environment. Armed with advanced technology and scientific reasoning, piecing together the puzzle one tantalizing clue at a time. And on the agnomatic moon of Titan, the clues are nothing short of staggering. One of the most compelling indicators of potential life on Titan is the rich presence of complex organic molecules found there. When we talk about the building blocks of life, we often refer to organic molecules, complex compounds primarily composed of carbon, hydrogen, nitrogen, and oxygen. Titan's thick atmosphere, being rich in nitrogen and methane, serves as a giant chemical reactor through which those elements react under ultraviolet radiation and cosmic rays coming from the sun to form more complex organic compounds. But one such compound in particular has got scientists excited. They are called tholins, a term coined by the eminent scientist Carl Sagan to describe the complex organic molecules that form in Titan's upper atmosphere. These tholins fall like a gentle rain onto Titan's surface, creating a reddish-brown layer. And while these molecules are not life itself, they are considered prebiotic, meaning they could be the precursors to life if they were to undergo further chemical evolution in the right conditions. Consider this deeply. On Earth, life began with simple organic molecules in a primordial soup, possibly in hydrothermal vents where these molecules could combine, react, and eventually form more complex structures like proteins and nucleic acids. Now, Titan, with its organic-rich environment, presents a similar arrangement, and so the presence of these molecules sparks the imagination. Could similar processes be happening on Titan? Now, it is true that the chemical environment on Titan is vastly different from Earth. The dominance of methane and ethane on the surface liquids creates a different chemical context for potential life forms. Here's where the dreaminess of scientific possibility causes us to ask that while life on Earth relies on water-based chemistry, could life on Titan use methane or ethane in a similar way? Regardless of the answer to that question, current scientific understanding is that possessing a hydrocarbon sea is not enough to suspect that life could be present on a celestial body. Scientists have for centuries operated under the assumption that one thing, perhaps more than all others, must be present in an environment for life to flourish there. And that thing is liquid water. Why is liquid water so crucial in the search for life? On Earth, wherever we find liquid water, we find life. Water is an excellent solvent, facilitating the chemical reactions necessary for life. It also has unique properties that support biological processes, such as its ability to dissolve a wide range of substances and its high heat capacity, which helps regulate temperature. So the question becomes, is it all organic soup there on Titan, or does Titan have any liquid water? For a long time, this question stumped scientists, because it was difficult to gather data on a planet with such a dense atmosphere. But finally, we have learned that beneath Titan's icy crust lies one of the most exciting and mysterious features, a subsurface ocean. Data from the Cassini-Huygens mission provided compelling evidence for this ocean, which is thought to be composed of liquid water mixed with ammonia acting as an antifreeze. But here's the kicker, something no one could have predicted or foreseen. This ocean is so vast, some estimates suggest it might be 12 times more massive than all of Earth's oceans combined. The potential for a habitable environment in Titan's subsurface ocean hinges on several factors. Scientists believe that water in contact with Titan's rocky core could lead to a variety of chemical interactions, which may produce hydrogen and other molecules that could serve as energy sources for life. But there's also the necessity for heat, which is produced through tidal forces from Saturn's gravity. The belief is that these might create enough heat to maintain liquid water beneath the ice crust, even as hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor provide heat and energy from inside the ocean much like the vents on Earth that support diverse ecosystems without sunlight. Now you understand why scientists are so excited by these possibilities. Conditions of life on Titan seem to be taking shape in fantastic ways. Its conditions are unique, yes, but that does not necessarily constitute a hindrance. For instance, let's take a look at the energy sources to power this amazing moon. We know on Earth this comes from sunlight through photosynthesis or chemical reactions in a process called chemosynthesis. 
On Titan, even though sunlight is scarce due to the thick atmosphere and distance from the sun, it is entirely possible that this can be offset by the abundance of chemical energy sources, especially in the subsurface ocean where water-rock interactions might produce hydrogen and other energy-rich molecules. Another condition necessary for life is nutrients and the organic molecules raining down from Titan's atmosphere could provide a rich source of carbon and other elements necessary for life. The main challenge is whether these nutrients can reach the subsurface ocean in sufficient quantities. Recent studies suggest that the influx of organic molecules into the subsurface ocean via cometary impacts or surface interactions might be limited. That is, only about 7.5 tons of organics per year could be reaching the ocean, which is a tiny fraction compared to the vastness of the ocean. And such scarcity of organic material could limit the potential for life to develop or sustain itself. However, ongoing research has focused on alternative mechanisms that could deliver these essential ingredients more effectively, such as hydrothermal vents on the ocean floor or internal processes that might generate and even recycle organic compounds. Perhaps another important condition to talk about is the stability of the environment. Some scientists believe Titan's subsurface ocean, protected from the harsh surface conditions by an icy shell, could offer such stability. But we must caveat here that the thickness of this ice shell and its impact on nutrient and energy transport is still a matter of research and speculation. And then there's the matter of the harshness of the environment being a threat to life. But there are reasons to be optimistic, because while the surface temperature averages a frigid minus 290 degrees Fahrenheit, the presence of liquid methane in ethane lakes demonstrates that life can thrive even in the most extreme aphilic conditions. We know this especially because microorganisms on Earth, known as extremophiles, flourish in environments once thought inhospitable, such as deep-sea hydrothermal vents and acidic hot springs. If similar life forms existed on Titan, they would have adapted to survive in the Moon's extreme cold and hydrocarbon-rich lakes. Imagine the discovery of alien microbes thriving in methane lakes and how that transforms our understanding of life's potential across the cosmos. What groundbreaking discoveries and scientific research have recently emerged about Titan's potential to harbor extraterrestrial life? Perhaps the most significant mission that has been instrumental in revealing to us the secrets of Titan has been the Cassini-Huygens mission. Cassini orbited Saturn and its moons for a grand total of 13 years, providing detailed observations of Titan's atmosphere, surface, and gravitational interactions. The Huygens probe, on the other hand, actually landed on Titan back in 2005 and sent back images and data from the surface, giving us our first real glimpses of its alien landscape. As we have already discussed, one of the most striking findings from Cassini was the discovery of vast lakes and seas of liquid methane and ethane at Titan's poles. Further observations revealed even more fascinating truths, such as the fact that Titan experiences weather patterns, including rain and possibly even storms, driven by these liquid hydrocarbons. But there's more. Some studies in recent times have focused on the role of cometary impacts in delivering organic materials to Titan's surface and subsurface ocean. Scientists believe that comets, which are rich in organic compounds, could have periodically bombarded Titan and created transient liquid water environments as the ice melted and mixed with the organic materials. Researchers have also used radar data from Cassini to map Titan's surface and identify craters and other geological formations. By modeling the frequency and impact of comets, scientists estimate the rate of which organic molecules could be delivered to Titan's ocean. Even though this rate is relatively low, it provides a mechanism for introducing essential ingredients for life into the subsurface environment. So, what future missions are planned in the hunt for alien life on Titan? Due to the extraordinary potential for extraterrestrial life on Titan, scientists and space agencies are eager to explore this enigmatic moon further. One of the most anticipated missions in the exploration of Titan is NASA's Dragonfly mission, which is set to launch in 2028. Dragonfly is a rotorcraft lander, a special type of drone designed to fly through dense atmospheres like that of Titan. Upon landing, it will explore diverse surface features and report back to us. 
dragonfly will investigate the prebiotic chemistry occurring on Titan, study its habitability, and search for chemical signs of life. The mission will target different regions, including dunes, impact craters, and possibly ancient liquid environments. The Cassini-Huygens mission raised several questions, and Dragonfly is meant to provide answers to those questions. The Dragonfly mission also represents a significant leap in technology. It will have the ability to fly and land at multiple sites, allowing for a more comprehensive exploration of the varied landscapes on Titan. The drone will also carry a suite of scientific instruments, including mass spectrometers, drills, and cameras to analyze samples and capture high-resolution images. Technological advances in data transmission, autonomous navigation, and miniaturization of scientific instruments are crucial for the success of missions like Dragonfly. These innovations enable scientists to gather detailed data from distant and challenging environments, and the ultimate result is that we are pushing the very boundaries of our knowledge. Over to you. What are your thoughts on the potential for life on Titan? Do you think we will find signs of life with the Dragonfly mission? Let us know in the comments below. If you liked the video, then you should check out the one on your screen. It explains why it would be preferable to colonize Titan instead of Mars. Thanks for watching.